a 14-yard pickup on the play for the defenders and Colson Cruz. Cruz turns, hands it off, and Nick Wellen bounces to the outside. Nick Wellen breaks a tackle, and Nick Wellen down to the 46-yard line of the Hastings Brown. Yeah, you just don't want to take the competitiveness out nope. of a player, right? You allow him to make plays. That's what Colson does. Uh, that's his game. He's throwing the ball up really well this year, uh, but that that dual threat is is huge. Hand off to Piper. Piper up the middle. Brendan Piper into the end zone. That's a Dort defender. That screen pass that ended up being a fumble. Back to pass is Kudelacek. Kudelacek's going to take a shot, and this one should be picked off, and it is. That's Matt Bumgars. Bumgars with the interception at the 40. Out to the 50. Gets a block from Hutting up the sideline. 35-30. Flag on the play. And that's going to be brought down a senior. And it'll be second down and five. Second and five for the defenders. Football now in Hastings territory. Dort leading 7-0. 420 left to go in the first quarter. Back to pass is Cruz. Cruz off of the play action. Throws over the top. Harkin. Harkin makes the catch inside the 20 down to the 14. Uh, from our perspective, it'll be a 14 to nothing ball game. Brendan Piper carries up the middle. Picks up two on the play. Short of the first down. It's third down and short. Dort goes quickly. Mm, did everyone get set? They did. Hand off Piper. And Brendan Piper is into the end zone. Touch. Rushing Dort with... 12 carries, 62 net yards. Kudelacek brings the offense onto the field, trailing 14 to nothing. And now they the turned Dort the defense, over. did they take the football away? 11-10 left to play here in the first half. Defenders down near the, uh, down on the Hastings end of the field as well. Colson Cruz, they're going to flip it, and on the end around, and that's Queering, Queering, racing into the end zone, touchdown. You know, the guy who caught the ball to just finish the play, but get get involved in the play, get downfield, make a block, and, you know, that was really close to being able to cut back and maybe even get in the end zone. First down and 10 for the defenders now at the Bronco, 27-yard line. Hand off Piper, Piper into the end zone, touchdown defenders, that's the hatch. Stops on the incomplete pass. So third down and 10 for the Broncos at their own 48. Empty out the backfield again. Cassius Campbell back to pass. Left-hander steps up in the pocket, throws over the top, and the pass is picked off and intercepted. Get the play in from the sideline. Eight seconds left. Now five up to the line of scrimmage. Cruz has Wellen behind him. Turns, hands, gives to Wellen. Wellen will walk into the end zone. Advantage of it, and once he got into the secondary, he made... Couple guys miss and uh, drug another for a few extra yards. So for Brendan Piper, a 38 yard run. Back to pass is Colson Cruz. Cruz throws towards the end zone, has a man open. Touchdown defenders. <laughs> Elliot Beal. In all likelihood, four down territory. Want to extend the drive if you can. Back to pass, under pressure, and he ducks away from a would be tech. To that, we are to that point where. Yeah, you don't have to be in a hurry to score here. Second down and goal to go at the six. Five on the play clock. There's the snap. Cruz fakes the pitch, and he's going to walk into the end zone in fourth quarter. Northwestern leads 14-7. to seven. Morningside leads Doan 56 to nothing, And Concordia leads Briarcliff 28-6. to six. Handoff up the middle. And the football comes out, and another turnover by the Broncos. Well, the do on offense, uh, they've had a hard time running the ball. There has not been much offense for Midland in that game. Looks like under 200 yards. So their defense has been equal to the challenge. McDaniel pass tipped, and it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown defenders. 